Eric, Independent in White Marsh, Maryland. Go ahead. Yeah, I love, yeah I'm, I'm from, from, you know, right outside of Baltimore, in the big inner city. And I almost take offense to the young man who's defending not having an ID to be able to vote because the examples you named, you named African Americans. And as an African American, I take offense to you saying that. Any young African American that can't not get an ID does not deserve the right to vote. We work too hard in this country to get this right. Everyone should take advantage of it and play by the rules. If they were giving away a check and you needed to have an ID to cash that check, everybody will be running and they would have their IDs in hand. Please, please stop using us, African Americans or any minority that could excuse to, uh, to, to, to further this, uh, this, uh, this uh, cause you have because it's really hurting us. You're calling us ignorant. You're calling us invalid. If you're talking about a, a small minority that they can do exceptions for, then only speak of those exceptions and stop using everybody else. It's appalling, okay? All right, I appreciate let's, it. Let's, I, Go I, ahead. I know this is directed at John, but let me actually say, uh, look, somebody else who, dis who agrees with what the caller just said is Senator Harold Metz. Senator Harold Metz is African-American Democrat, state senator in Rhode Island. He was the chief sponsor of the uh, Rhode Island photo ID that law uh, just passed. And last week he had this great uh, article in a local Rhode Island paper in which he basically said the same thing. He, he said that, that he, he got upset at uh, people making claims that African Americans uh, could not comply with this rule, wouldn't be able to get an ID, and in fact, he sponsored the bill because he said uh, he has seen voter fraud, uh, he believes that voter ID is necessary, and that the African American community can certainly comply with that requirement just like everybody else.